done this before, so I'm not going to spend a heap of time working on linear rope and linear decay because we do need to catch up. But obviously we've got to look at some key terms. Growth means growth means growing, increasing, decay means decreasing. So what would we expect with linear growth? Which means positive what? Gradient. And we would expect with a decay of the negative gradient. Okay. So they're the key terms. What else happens with linear growth or linear decay? If I have linear growth, linear annual growth, what would I expect every year? It would um, go up by the same amount or down by the same amount. Very good. So it would go up or down by the same amount every year. It's not how the world works, but it is a nice way of looking at things. Nice and easy way before we get into exponential growth, which is far more common. Who's come across a term in year 10? An I word that expresses linear growth. What type of interest? Compounds the real interest. It's how the world works. It is simple. Now, simple interest, I don't know of any scenario in my life where simple interest occurs. Compound interest makes the world go around. Simple interest doesn't come up very often, but it does come up in the math syllabus. So let's talk about a few terms there. What does a percentage, so if I have 5% growth of $100, how much in 10 years? Oh, uh, not okay, 10 years, let's go to 10 years. What did you say? Is it, is it annually, monthly, weekly, daily? What, what, what annually, monthly? Is it doing what? How often is it um, increased by 5%? Yeah, I'm looking for a word that you, you're missing. Compounding. Compounding. How often is it compounding? Never. Every year. Per annum, every year we are reassessing. But it doesn't affect the amount. This isn't like compound interest. Compound interest does this. Is that linear? Exponential. Yep. We have $135. We will have $135. Can you do it? Nah. <laughs> how did he do it? I gave you an example which you can do in your head. How did he do it then? Um, to go 5% for 100. Yep. So what's 5% mean? Because that might be something we assume we know, but we know not. 5 over 100. Yep. So 5 over 100. So he's gone 0.05. Then what's he done? Uh, times 100. Times 100. And then times 7. Times 7. And that's his, what's that equal to? 135. 35. That's equal to 35. So what do we call that? That's special. Interest. That's his interest, correct? Interest? Yeah. His amount, his final amount, is equal to his principal plus his interest. What was his principal amount or his initial amount? 100. So his final amount is equal to 100 plus 35, 135. Very good. Sweet. That's pretty much what you need to understand as far as linear growth and linear decay because you already know most of what you need to know. You just need to be aware of key terminology like percentage per annum, principal, interest, final amount. Cool.